stretcher over here because uh, these two boards that I have sitting on that sawhorse put together are a quarter of an inch shorter than what I would like for them to be to give me uh, 26 foot five and a half I get 26 foot five and a quarter now I talked one time about when I used to work on a construction crew and we had a one-handed boss named Henry and we had a assistant foreman named Travis and then we had a guy named Pickle Patch who was a kid. We called him a hippie back in the day because he came to the work site and he told us that he wanted to go to a concert and his mom wouldn't pay for the tickets. His mom told him if you want to go to a concert, you got to go out and go to work and make your own money to pay for the ticket. So he came to the job site and tried to make enough money to buy his ticket. And right off, Henry sent him up to the foreman's office to get a beam stretcher because we needed to stretch some beams. Well, if y'all know anything about lumber, you know there's no such thing as a beam stretcher. But Pickle Patch kept coming back and saying that the boss told him there wasn't no beam stretcher. And, and Henry kept sending him back saying, I know good and well there isn't a beam stretcher. I know good and well that he's got one. You go up there and you tell him to get you one and don't come back without him. Well, this happened three or four times before the foreman. You know, every job site's got a foreman. He stays in the office while several hundred work crews are working all around. So he comes driving up in his white pickup truck. He gets out and he says, Henry, you send that boy up to the office one more time to get a beam stretcher and you're fired. So that was the end of the beam stretcher fun we had. I needed a beam stretcher, but since it's only a quarter of an inch off, <laughs> if the whole world was a quarter of an inch off, it'd be fine with me. So I'm going to nail it. Well, I'm not going to nail it. I'm going to paint it, and then I'm going to nail it. So then two boards on the far end, that's my long board. My long, we call it a cornice board, although it's not technically one. It goes the length of that building. The next board I'm gonna measure and cut is the one that's missing off the end of this building and everybody kept telling me I hadn't painted yet. I'm gonna fix up a board for that next. <laughs> 